Zion National Park. We're in the Kolob region. This is one of the hikes to take you to the Kolob Arch. It's one of the largest arches freestanding in the world. I think it's the second or third largest. We're going to take the Leverkin Creek. I've taken this hike before. It's just beautiful to the arch, but I'm going to take the Hot Valley Trail up and back round trip. It's about 26. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, sun's beginning to rise. Should be a fabulous day. Sun's just beginning to rise. Trail follows down here. There's a creek, Laverkin. Takes you around and you walk around these huge arches or towards the Kulab Arch. Let's continue on. Down by the creek. I love hiking this trail this time of year. It's late March. Grass is just beginning to grow. The trees are just beginning to bud. It's always cool, crisp, about 45, 50, starting your hike. Be about 70, 75, coming back. Come through here in the morning. By the time you come back in the afternoon, it's like more leaves have budded. The sun is rising, still shade on the trail, since I'm doing 20 some miles, and know this trail, the sooner you start, the more shade you can get, but I'm getting ready to cross a ridge line, and it should be sun for the rest of the day. It gets very hot in Zion in the summer. This trail I'm on right now, it can easily get to 100 degrees in July. Made it around the one large bend on your way to Kolob Arch and Hot Valley. Much larger than the Verkin Creek. Hard to get lost on this trail. It's extremely well routed. That's the benefit of being in a national park. Although there are a few trails in here that are really good routes, but the national park stopped monitoring them like Watchman's Tower in the 1960s. Onward we go. Okay, we finally made the intersection. We started at Lee Pass, going to Hop Alley, and the Call of Terrace Road, which is another seven. So maybe when we come back later today, we'll do Call of Arch. Up we go. Once you finally come out of the trees, this is what Hop Valley is known for. You would never expect to find this in Zion, did you? Valley is not really hiked a lot. It takes quite a bit to get here unless you drive the call up terrace and then you usually you're hiking different things than actually wanting to hike this. But it's got its pristine beauty. 
which makes it a very cool place. Hut Valley, you hike all the way to a point where you get out of the park and then go back in. But to give you perspective, you're hiking between these two giant cliffs, creeks over there. Let's go bother some cattle. Okay, I'm finally getting out of Hep Valley. Heading up the trail. I'm hoping just maybe another one and a half to two miles to Call Up Terrace. There's Call Up Terrace Road. Made it. So that's a total of 13.5. I get to turn around and do it all over again. But I'm kind of glad because I get to hike through Hot Valley. Such an amazing area. So sublime. 13.5 done. There's Hot Valley. So, in essence, there's Lee Pass. Cutting across and all the way through Hot Valley. To right here. Sorry, I'm a little tired. The connector trail takes you to the Wildcat, and then I've done Wildcat all the way. So basically, I've done Trans Zion, but I'm not doing it today. I'm turning around after I relax here for a bit. Okay, well, we're heading back into Hot Valley. Snow-covered peaks are part of the Dixie National Forest and St. George. This is where we're going. We gotta walk all around that. We got another 10 to well, 10 to 12. Ha! <laughs> we got another 12 to go at least. But can't wait to get back into Hot Valley. It's so pretty. Lime is the only word I can come up with. It's very peaceful. This is a unique section of Zion. Feels untainted to a certain standpoint. Granted, there's a trail here, but most of the people only hike here or doing the Trans Zion hike. Let's face facts, there's not a lot of them. But it's just such a pretty area. It's just amazing. You've got this slot like this where you walk through grass and sand, the creek. That's flat for miles. Miles and miles. At least three. I'm glad I'm hiking through it twice in one day. Laverkin, finally coming out of Hot Valley. Behind this little water area is the arch. And I have a couple videos of the arch with water flowing. And based on what I'm seeing, there isn't any water flowing. Which makes me not want to do it. And the only reason is because this trail sand. Now there's not a lot of sand right here, but there are a lot of parts of this trail where it was very deep sand. So it's literally like running a marathon up and downhill in sand. How many of you like to do that? That's what I thought. 
So I think I'm going to cut out the call of arch, but we'll see how I feel when I get down there. I decided against the call of arch. I'll take it against me. That's what other videos are for. The good thing is that it's getting a little overcast. If I'm lucky, I'll be back to the car in less than two hours. Back at the trailhead. Six o'clock on the dot. Nine hours, 30 minutes. Not bad for 28, 29 miles. Well, bottom line is, I probably have done it faster, but I was a little slower today. More importantly, it's 20 miles of heavy sand. So, I think I did all right with that. I certainly look like it. It's been a good day. 15 yesterday, 28, 29 today. You work hard, you play hard. Till the next time.